Okay, so first of all, the data in this graph is the number of births in the USA between the years 2000 and 2014. This is the link for where the data originally comes from. And then this is the link for the blog post that inspired me to do this. So when you download the data, this is what it looks like. And the first step will be to insert a pivot table so we can rearrange this data. So it will go on an existing worksheet just here and OK. Then the months goes into the rows section and the date of the month goes into the columns with 31 days. And then the number of births will go into the values field. At the moment, this is the sum of the births. I am going to change this to the average number of births. And now we have the average number of births for each day of the year. And we have some blank cells here because not every month has 31 days. The next step is to select all of this using Control A and then Control C to copy and copy this into a new sheet and paste it as values. Then delete the headings and change all of the numbers to the actual month. So one becomes January and then drag that down until December. Then select all of the columns and make them much thinner. I want all of the cells to be squares. So if we look here, the row height is 61 pixels, which means I need to change the column width to be 61 pixels as well. Now the cells are so small that you can't see the numbers anymore. They are just hash symbols but I want to hide all of the numbers. So I'll select everything and then change the number formatting to a custom number format, which will be semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. And three semicolons will make the numbers invisible and okay. And now you can see it looks like the cells are empty, but if you look in the formula bar, you can see the numbers are still there. Now select everything again and add in some conditional formatting. I'm going to use a color scale, which is green, yellow, red. And now the average number of births is represented by a color with higher numbers being green and lower numbers being red. Now I'm going to add borders to this so go to borders and more borders. Then choose a thick line and change the color to white. Then add a border around the outside and the inside. And at the moment we can't see the borders because it's white on top of white. But if I go OK, now you can see the borders have been added in. Now select everything including the cells around the outside and change the cell fill to white. Then give this whole range a thick outside border. Then select all of the months and change the text alignment to the right. Then select the numbers and align them to the center and make the font one size smaller. Then select all of the cells along the top and merge and center them and add in a title. And I'll make this bold and the font size bigger. Then I'll make the column width of the outside columns smaller to get rid of the gaps. So here, if we look at the red squares, you can see the day with the smallest number of births is the 25th of December.
which is Christmas Day, and then it's followed by the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, and also the 1st of January, New Year's Day, and the 4th of July. And these are all public holidays in the USA. So it looks like for people who can control when they're going to give birth, they are choosing not to do it during the holidays. Then if we look at the green squares, you can see that it is more common to give birth during the summer months with the 12th of September being the day with the largest number of births. Now, if I select all of this and go to conditional formatting and manage rules and then edit rule, this is what you would do if you wanted to change the colors on the scale. And at the moment, the midpoint is set to the 50th percentile. But if I change this to 50% and OK and OK again, you can see almost all of these squares change to green. And that is because there isn't actually that much difference between the number of births on each day of the year, except for the holidays. So if we have the conditional formatting set to the 50th percentile, it's actually a bit misleading because it is accentuating the differences at the higher end of the scale. Although I do think it makes a nicer looking picture. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a heat map showing the average number of births on each day of the year. And that is everything.